Hey folks, this is Don Whitaker. I made Crash Lander and I'm going to show you how to play real quick. Let's start off with some of these pad hopper levels. So this is the craft that you've built after crash landing on this lunar research station. And it's kind of a janky little thing made out of spare parts and propane tanks. And it's not very sturdy either. If you bump into something or land too hard, you're going to crash, blow up, and you're going to have to restart the level. So the goal on the pad hopper is to land at all four of the pads that are scattered around each of the 24 levels. So you look for these pads with the red lights on them, land at the first three of the pads, and that will unlock the fourth and final pad. You land at that one and uh, you'll beat the level, get your score, see if you earned any stars, and uh, you can go on to the next level or retry this one and try to get a better score. And there's some information on the craft to let you know what's going on. Uh, the numbers on the back are your score for the level. Basically how many seconds have elapsed since you started. On the back of the craft you see the three lights that turn green as you land on each of the first three pads. And that one on the right will turn red when it's okay to land at that final pad. And then you'll see on the front you have a, a blue circle with a little green dot. That's your compass. That green dot always points at uh, the next pad that you can land on. So if you ever get lost or you're not sure where to go, just look at that green dot, line it up with the front of your craft, and that means that the next pad is somewhere in front of you. And then you can find where you need to go. Alright, to control your craft, you can use either a keyboard or mouse or a gamepad, like the Xbox 360 controller. With keyboard and mouse, you use the left mouse button to fire all four of your thrusters. Then you use W, A, S, and D to go thrust forward, back, turn your craft left and right. And you can use the Q and E keys to strafe left and right. Kind of your standard first person controls. You can use the escape key to pause and bring up a little menu. And you can use the R key to restart the level. That'll come in handy in later levels when things get a lot harder <laughs> and you'll be crashing a lot and restarting a lot trying to get those high scores. With the gamepad, the controls are similar. The A button will fire all four thrusters. The left analog stick will turn left and right and thrust you forward and back and the triggers will strafe left and right. You can also use the right analog stick on the gamepad to look around up and down left and right or on the mouse you can use the right button right mouse button to look around up and down left and right. Okay, and for ring runner mode, the controls on your craft are going to be the same, but your goal is going to be different. Uh, instead of landing pads, you're going to have a preset course that you need to fly through on each level. You'll see these rings. All you got to do is fly through them as quickly as possible without losing control or blowing up, and uh, you're all good. <laughs> you're kind of pushing the fine line here between speed and control of your craft. And keep in mind that each ring will point towards the next ring. Some of the later levels will have some pretty extreme changes in height or direction for each of the pad rings. So just know that it points towards the next one. You can also look at the compass on the front of your craft if you get disoriented. And just like in the pad hopper mode you'll get stars at the end of each level based on how quickly you finished. Oh, boy, I'm not very good today. <laughs> oh. Another goal for people who like to explore and collect things and maybe you completionists out there, uh, I've hidden three widgets on each 
level so 132 of them in all and you'll find them just kind of hidden around in little nooks and crannies on each of the levels and you'll 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 know them by the fact that they're just kind of sitting in space and spinning and they've got these sparkly red and yellow particles on them and to collect them you just go up to them then with your craft collect the item there's also the hard flight mode for the brave pilots out there who don't mind a little bit of frustrations and a harder challenge uh, this was actually the first and only flight mode in the game when I first started making Crash Lander a couple of years ago and it was based on an idea I had while playing Quop so if you've ever played Quop you know you're in for a bit of a challenge and some some goofy wrecks and uh, and some awkward finger twiddling <laughs> So in this mode, you have direct control over all four of your main thrusters. If you put your fingers on W, S, I, and J, you'll see that uh, W, if you push W, it'll just fire that front left thruster. If you push I, it'll just fire that front right one. And S and J are for the back two. So to go straight up in the air or fire evenly, you have to push all four of them at once. You can also use Q and O to rotate your craft. So basically you've got six buttons and six fingers working all at once to get this thing to go where you want it to go. Okay, there are a few other keys to do miscellaneous things. Uh, you can hit the T key, which will toggle on and off a little trail that follows behind your craft, which is kind of fun to see every place you went on a level or just to uh, draw fun patterns in the sky you've got the equal key which will turn on a frames per second counter on the back of your craft there I'm getting about 260 frames a second right now that's pretty good <laughs> um, oh and there's a field of view if you want to I know some people on the PC especially like to be able to change your field of view get a wider view around you and that's the bracket keys the right bracket will give you a larger field of view, left bracket will bring it back down. Alright, for those of you who have an Oculus Rift, I got you covered. You got Oculus Rift mode. Just turn it on, slip on your Rift, and you can play in VR. And instead of using the mouse to choose menu options, you just look where you want to go, click the left mouse button, or A on your gamepad to select things. Now if you accidentally go into Oculus Rift mode and you don't have yours connected or you don't own one, you won't be able to select any menu items, but you can get out of it by just hitting the escape key. And I, I think that's all you need to know to play the game. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions or ideas for the game, I'd love to hear them. You can email me at kitchendon at gmail.com. Go to brainblinks.com and uh, look for the contact form or or just go to the uh, Steam game page and uh, check out the discussion area there. I'll be watching that for people's questions or troubleshooting or uh, any ideas you might have. I do have a whole another game mode planned um, for future versions of the game. I don't want to give away what that is yet. It's going to be pretty neat. And uh, I'd be happy to hear your suggestions or uh, things you think that aren't quite working right. Or maybe I set one of the levels too hard for a, for a star rating. Uh, whatever, whatever ideas you have, I'd love to hear them. So thanks for buying the game and supporting me, and uh, have fun crashing.